My name is Katsuma Kamishiro. I'm a 27-year-old salesman who became a section chief at this local branch last year. Really? No? I'm suggesting this because it's you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm not really interested in that. Is that so? You're a guy with less desire. Anyway, I want you to think about it. Oh, and a new manager and a med career hire are coming tomorrow. And the next day, before the morning assembly, I was surprised to see the new guy. Oh, are you... Ezaki? The man is Shigesu Ezaki. He was my classmate in high school, and had excellent grades. He went on to a famous national university. Why did you come to such a local trading company? Kamishiro, so you work at this company? You know each other? Perfect! Kamishiro-kun will be your direct boss! That's what the branch manager said casually. Is my boss a high school graduate? Promotion is easy then. After all, you can get promoted even if you have a low educational background, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. The branch manager chides him, but it's no use. This is the kind of man he is. He's always been making fun of others. It seems that his personality hasn't changed in the past 10 years. Um, is that enough? It's already past the start of work. This is a workplace. Leave the nonsense and conversations between friends behind. The woman said so harshly. I'm sorry. She's scary as always. Then, the branch manager immediately introduced the two of them. This is Hon Yura, the marketing department manager from the head office. And Ezaki-kun, a new employee. Manager Hon Yura will also serve as a substitute for the sales manager who retired last year. I'm Nagusa Honyura. I will be here for two years. Thank you. I'm Shigeyasu Izaki. I'm a talented guy, so please look forward to it. Both have quite a background. It's good to have talented people at our branch office. The morning assembly is over, and I talk to Izaki, who will be my direct report. I'll show you around the office. Then, I'll tell you the details of the job. The details? Heh, <laughs> it's a sales job for a trading company. It's just a matter of putting a margin on what we source and sell it, right? Well, that's true, but... Yeah, yeah, you're my boss now. I'll listen to what you say. Ezaki-kun, you have a minute? Ezaki is called by the branch manager and heads there. I just couldn't go to university due to family circumstances. I never expected that he would ridicule me for that. Ah, <sighs> I wonder what to do. Then you just have to show your ability. It's simple, right? Yes, ma'am. Manager Honyuda said so as she headed to her desk. She's quite a character. Well, one week later, despite the occasional circusm, Ezaki generally seems to understand the nature of the job. It was the day of the sales meeting. We from the sales department had gathered together. I was the moderator, running the meeting. That's all for this month. Lastly, the property that Izaki is in charge of. Well, for one year, you will go for sales of existing clients. That's just customary here. Customary? People who are obsessed with such things tend to be useless, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just accept this as a rule of this company. And you still haven't gotten used to the job, right? Hey, do you think I can't do what you can do? Seriously. This guy loves one-upping me. As I was thinking that, onyura san interjected. Hmm... If that's the case, give him all the properties you are in charge of, Kamishiro. It's better that way according to your ability. What? I'm confused. On the other hand, Ezaki was pleased. As expected of a talented manager, you know my ability. That's my decision. You hand over all the properties to him. I had no choice but to nod at those words. Oh, wait! The meeting was over, and I stopped honyura san who was leaving the conference room. What do you have in mind? Does this mean you were removing me from sales? Then she stopped and told me. I told you, right? I'm saying this based on your ability. Well, in my opinion, I would like to remove you from sales. Uh. Those words came as a shock to me. 
as I had been working as a salesperson since graduating from high school. You look confused. Okay, you can tag along with me starting next week. The next day, the handover of my properties to Ezaki began. Huh, I didn't expect manager Honyuda to take away the property from you after seeing my ability. Doesn't this mean that you will be demoted and I will be quickly promoted in your place? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, take over my properties quickly. Despite his personality, he is relatively decent in front of the customers. Sorry, I'm no longer going to be in charge. Ezaki will be my successor, so please take care of him. I'm Ezaki. Look forward to working with you. After a week had passed, there was talk of me accompanying manager Honyuda. My main work is marketing, of course. Specifically, I find new products that the company can sell. Yeah, so why me? So, you're the section chief, right? I will make you help me deal with new clients. Do your best to manage your trainee at the same time. So, on days when Ezaki didn't have an appointment, I ordered him to call clients he visited once. As for me, I was accompanying honyuda san As I mentioned on the phone, the souvenir suites manufactured and sold by your company. I would love to hear about your target customer base and taste preferences. In addition, we would appreciate it if you could give us a quote and catalog of the products we will be marketing for you. Also, we would like to take advantage of this opportunity to promote our company. After receiving a signal from manager Honyuda, I took out the company brochure. As Honyuda mentioned, our company is a trading company that mainly handles food products. However, we also handle equipment, utensils, boxes, etc. that food manufacturers use. I see. Now I get her intention. By letting me accompany her, she's letting me acquire new clients at the same time as doing her marketing work. After we finished the meeting, I asked her a question as I headed back to the parking lot. Manager, if it's you, you could have done everything by yourself. Why did you let me accompany you? Marketing is marketing. Sales is sales. That's all. After saying that, she turned around and faced me. Even though I am also the deputy sales manager, it is just a temporary position. Even if a person like me takes on a new client, internal conflicts might arise with the salespeople. So, it's necessary. Anyway, let's keep on going. Alright, buddy? And she smiled. We visited a few more customers, and when we returned to the office, I asked Izaki. Izaki, how was your day? It is also part of my job to check in on him. Heh! <laughs> Piece of cake! Stop making that annoying face. I guess there weren't any problems. It was a bit difficult at first, but it's been half a year now. So, your thoughts haven't changed even now? No, sorry. Understood. Just let me know if you change your mind. What was that about? When the branch manager left, honyuda san asked me. Uh, <laughs> I've been asked to be second at next year. I've been turning it down because I'm not confident. Oh, I see. Well, you probably have your own circumstances. She doesn't ask me any more questions. She's cool as usual. Plus, I, I'd be in trouble if you left me. Huh? It was so unexpected, and I blushed. I, I mean, we've been working hard together for half a year. So that's all. D don't get the wrong idea. Uh, tsundere, I guess? Well, we've been working together almost every day for the past six months. We've gotten to know each other well. And my work was hectic until half a year ago, but I finally started to see what I need to do. Chief Kamishiro, you seem to be going home late for the past few months. Are you okay? It's okay. I rest when I can. For some reason, I end up working until late most of the time. But this is also my job. By the way, Izaki was also doing well. Got another big deal! Izaki says this triumphantly at a sales meeting. The demand is naturally higher due to Christmas, but this much increase wouldn't have happened without me. Uh, <laughs> congrats. But you didn't force any clients to make a deal or anything. 
right? What? Are you jealous? Well, I'm making big sales with your properties, so I guess you must be. After all, it's all about here, the brain. Our level of intelligence is different, right? Ezaki is sarcastic as always. Jeez, this guy. Ah, <sighs> if you're that good, can you go to the headquarters instead of me? Heh, <laughs> fine. I was tired of all the boring sales work with existing clients. I will produce results at the headquarters and quickly advance my career. <laughs> I see. That's a good idea. He seems to be motivated too. Ezaki-kun, so you volunteer to go, right? I'll talk to the higher-ups. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's a second man that even Kamishiro gets asked to do. If this guy can do it, there's no reason I can't. With his consent, the discussion about Izaki's second man went to the branch manager. But, Izaki-kun, huh? That night, manager Honyura talked to the branch manager about it. The branch manager is reluctant. It has only been half a year since Izaki joined the company. This is an impossible choice under normal circumstances. It's his strong wish. Maybe we should let him try it. Understood. I'll talk to the president. Ugh, I'm getting a stomach ache. So, it's now up to the president. The next day, I was immediately told that. Huh, if Izaki goes, what should we do with the properties he's in charge of? Ah, uh -huh, right. I'll have to consider hiring a new employee. <laughs> so, I'm not going back to being in charge of sales again, huh? What are you saying? Did you think I will let go of my buddy that easily? And she smiles. So, I was your buddy, huh? Of course. I told you you're my buddy. We're great together. Is this a joke? I still couldn't fully understand her. Another half a year has passed since then, and Azaki got transferred. We were welcoming a new salesperson. So, you'll be in charge of existing clients for a year. Before the previous guy came, they were my clients, so I'll accompany you. I asked manager Honyura to reduce the frequency of my visits with her, and gave priority to training the new employee. Yes, chief. I don't understand anything yet, so please, guide me. Oh, whoa, so honest. This is what I was looking for in a newcomer. Huh? Chief, what happened? I burst into tears because I was so moved by the gap between last year and this year. Please, don't ever become one of those rookies who mocks people based on educational background, okay? What? What kind of disgusting rookie is that? Nobody is like that. Well, it's better if you don't find out the reality. Now, let's take a look at the situation at the headquarters. What are you doing? Others have already achieved results this past week. Shigeyasu Izaki was furiously scolded by his boss. This second meant was for the parent company to gather elite sales personnel for the new subsidiary. In other words, it is expected that what Izaki calls elites produce results. The number of visits is not enough. How could you possibly call yourself an elite? Three months later, Izaki had a sad expression on his face. Only three new customers in three months. Moreover, those are only small retailers. You introduced yourself as a capable man on your first day here. But you have no ability, no teamwork, and not even proper sense of ethics. Let me be honest with you. You are not needed here. Go back to your previous workplace. No, no way. It's been about three months. I finally finished visiting all the clients Izaki had been in charge of. Ugh, I got scolded again. Seriously, what kind of person was my predecessor? Uh, <laughs> I helped him quite a bit, but... Uh, <laughs> I wonder how many times you got scolded in the past few months. Not even a single email when the delivery is late. Increased prices one-sidedly. There was a lot of dissatisfaction among the clients. No wonder.
He was so aggressive. It was really bad. Here's this year's Christmas cake catalog. Of course you'll buy it, right? You have 300 employees, right? You should buy one for each person for us to maintain good business relationships in the future. Oh, you should even buy two for each employee. Well, he was taking full advantage of his position as a major company to force his clients to buy the products. This is the reason why Izaki was able to get sales. And we brought it out at the sales meeting. But, Kamishiro-kun, you've helped out and maintained business relationships with them, right? You're excellent, after all. Uh, no, no, you're overrating me. And don't be too humble. Even though you have an excellent ability, you have no desire to get promoted and your self-evaluation is too low. But I tell you, you are a great salesman. Hmm... By any chance, are you two dating? What? what? Our voices overlapped. <laughs> you guys are really good together. Manager, you only show a kind expression only when you talk to Chief. <clears throat> We're in a meeting. Let's change the topic. She clears her throat, trying to change the topic. Oh yeah, next week, it looks like Ezaki-kun will be back. What? I have consulted with the branch manager and decided how we should deal with him. Don't worry. Then a week has passed. Ezaki has indeed returned to her branch office. Heh, <laughs> it seems like I was too good for the headquarters. I don't mind if you welcome me. How can you possibly say that? We have all heard what exactly happened to him. However, perhaps we should learn a thing or two from his positiveness. Immediately after the morning assembly, Ezaki was called to the conference room to talk. These are your problems based on interviews with customers and headquarters. Do you have any intention of improving your problems? I want to ask you that first. Manager Honyuda asks him while looking at the report she has compiled. However, Ezaki showed no signs of remorse. Heh, <laughs> improve myself? There's no need to do that, is there? It's true that I may have had my faults as well. But it is true that I achieved great results last year. More than what Kemshiro had done. Please evaluate me based on my ability and results, rather than such trivial things. Is that so? That's what she said, with the coldest expression ever. If so, there are no sales jobs available for you at this branch. What? I pointed out your problems and urged you to make improvements, but you refused. Then what else is there for me to do? But, but, I have achieved results! Ugh! Results, results, results. My ass! Finally, she breaks her cool expression and screams. Of course you can get certain results by selling only to existing customers. But how can you call what you did results? That was just coercion. In fact, if it weren't for Kamishiro-kun, how many of those existing customers do you think we would have lost? He always followed up on your former clients even when he was busy accompanying me. He was working late into the night answering emails and phone calls from your former customers. It seems he let you handle matters directly related to the contract, but he dealt with all the other communications with them. He must have been really liked by the clients. Thanks to him, the number of new clients has increased significantly too. He's a much better salesman than you. I was surprised by her words. I can't believe she appreciated me that much. In the end, Izaki was told to ask admin clerks to give him miscellaneous work and left the room. Um, Chief Honyuda, I know it's too late to ask now, but why did you recommend Izaki's second mint? Huh? Well, all I can say is that I didn't really recommend it. He wanted it. Maybe she was trying to fix him forcibly, but it seems she won't tell me. Forget him. Rather, how about you improve yourself even more? Suddenly, she points her finger at me. What? Improve what? 
your low self-esteem. You refused the second men because you thought it was impossible for you, right? If you did well at the headquarters, you would have been promoted right away. Jeez, you're so talented that you can easily acquire even the most difficult new customers. Anyway, so I guess I wasn't wrong about you. Well, I found a great buddy. I won't let go of you. If you don't intend to step forward yourself, I'll pull you. That's what she said, taking my arm. A little while later, Izaki quit. It seems that he finally understood that it would be difficult to continue working here. Well, I'm sure there's a company for me out there. Dear Lovegoy viewers, maybe I'll be joining the company one of you works at. Wait for me. I, a highly educated elite, will definitely produce results. I never saw him again in my life after that. Well, as for me, the new year started again, and I moved to a seat near Nagusa Honyura. Uh, huh? Why am I sitting here? By the way, hasn't your term ended too? For some reason, I became the chief of sales and a member of the marketing department this year. There are still a few companies we're in negotiations with. You will remain assigned here for a while. Besides, I told you I would pull you along, right? Hezaki-kun has grown by forcefully achieving results with the clients you gave him. That wasn't due to his ability. But you're different. I knew it from the beginning. Finally, I understood her intention. The reason she said she wanted to take me out of the sales department. She wanted to use my ability as her subordinate. That's what she meant. In other words, she had high expectations for me from the very beginning. Follow me, buddy. Hi guys, thank you for watching. This story was so heartwarming. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. I hope you guys will have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.